Alright guys, I forgot uh, my main point as they've been spraying all day. And uh, what was my main point? <laughs> Traffic's getting bad. Hold on guys. Uh, okay, the main point is every time that a hoax is pulled on the American public, that's committing treason domestically from within. Okay? So, look at how much they've done here in this last couple years, especially this last year, year and a half. Every time they know they're so far in that they just keep doing more and more and more hoaxes the people in charge because they are on the cusp of losing control it's starting to fall apart it's like that backlash card in the Illuminati game uh, and they're gonna at all costs try and keep control because they like control and they will hurt us and use they will, they will attack and use force against us physical force against us to retain control okay remember that Obama likes to talk all nice and neat and everything y'all ought to be able to see through him, but uh, he's full of shit and uh, you know he's a politician they're all politicians they all lie every time they open their mouth it's a lie government was never intended to be this powerful and the Fed needs to end and all you people supporting it shame on you you're disgusting you're not honoring your oath to the United States of America and the Constitution and to the people of the United States you're not you're not how do you go home and you know, kiss, kiss your wife, your kids, good night, and look look at yourself in the mirror when when you, when you wake up. You know, it's so it gets me so aggravated. I can't. You guys got me so goddamn mad. I can hardly talk. My way or the highway. Oh shit. <clears throat> you know, how the fuck do you guys live with yourself? Okay. It's disgusting. And if you think you're getting leg up in this fucking world, you're fucking sadly mistaken because you'd be the first ones uh, that they'll turn your, their back on. And uh, you won't have their protection. And you will. It won't. All I gotta say, your future would look pretty grim if uh, there was a collapse. Because there's a lot more fucking general population than there is law enforcement or Homeland Security, DHS, you know, it's personal little fucking army. A lot more, even though there are, and they're trained well, and all this stuff. There's still a lot more people, and numbers outweigh that. I have a feeling there'll be a lot of fucking civilians with them raps and shit. <laughs> On the what is that saying? On the first day, they had all their weapons and blah 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 blah. But on the second day, the American people had the tank, had tanks and uh, what have you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, the sky is just full of haze. There's some clouds for real in there, but there's haze. Just swirly, weird fucking haze, and we know what it is. We know what it is. I know what it is. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't, man. But, okay, so do you not think... Okay, they're committing treason every time, right? They, they, they don't care anymore, because every time they're doing it, they're well aware they're doing it, okay? Uh, and uh, they're, they've hit the point of no return. The only 
the solution is an impeachment of the entire administration and then hearings of treason and fraud and uh, hearings and then prison terms or execution. If, if somebody, hold, if we start holding these people accountable, you'd see a fucking change. You would see change, you know? Why would, let's bring, you know, since they have all these fucking guillotines they've been stockpiling at their FEMA camps and shit, you know, along with their fucking uh, casket liners, you know, their disposable fucking caskets, you know, you fit probably three, at least three or four adults in, you know, and they got lids and they stack up real nice, so they got like fucking hundreds of thousands of them all over. Why well, they got those? Yeah, we start bringing in the old fucking guillotine, I think people will fucking get, you know, we wouldn't be seeing all the goddamn corruptness going on there is now. And they all think that they got a free pass and they're untouchable. Blah, untouchable. Man, I'm fucking tired fucking aggravated man this shit pisses me off I wish I didn't have to be aggravated about it here it is coming up the weekend I, you know I don't have my kid well, what am I gonna do I don't know fucking worry about this shit all weekend I, don't know. I gotta get out go for a bike ride or something hang out with some friends or something cause it gets old but you, you need to if you're not staying up to speed on things and you're really doing a disservice to yourself and to the country <clears throat> anyway guys that's pretty much all I can think of right now but just think about what I said you know look at every time they pull another one of these hoaxes and it's a hoax guys I mean it, it, why is there always 150 billion different fucking weird strange things that go around these latest fucking things you know sandy hook aurora boston dorner you know navy yard dc this dc i mean it's stupid the kenyan mall other shit you know the fucking the easter mom's fucking march you know all this shit you know I'll even go as far as say, you know, the fucking dude who fucking kidnapped them chicks for 20, 10 years and then hung himself. Come on. What about <clears throat> Lofner? No, not Lofner. That's a, that's the one that's, oh, yeah, you know, the, the Gabby Giffords. That, you know, that's fucking so ridiculous. Yeah, man, I forgot about her. She's out of the spotlight. That's probably so she can act regular for a while and not keep up her fucking act. You know, so she can live out of character for a while. I don't know, guys, but it's it's uh it's it's some scary times, and nobody, uh, not nobody, but a majority don't even know it, man. And then they don't want to know it, and then you know, when it become too late, and then they're gonna be really shocked, and amazed, and not prepared, and. Uh, that's just it, man. People live in a, a delusional or, you know, in a make-believe fucking world. And I know a lot of people that do. It's funny because I know people that think they know about politics and shit. And I'm not the best politics. I'm just keeping up on fucking uh, tyranny fucking alerts and shit, you know. Not terrorist alerts, tyranny alerts, okay. When you have a country that is all about freedoms and everything and then we have what's going on now and everything that we do or say if we if we support the constitution or we wave flags american flags or we don't want foreign flags flying or all this other stuff then we're terrorists are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me it's fucking stupid it's fucking stupid that is so fucking dumb I ain't never heard nothing so fucking dumb in my motherfucking life. And god damn it, if this shit's gonna fucking be going on with my fucking kids growing up in this fucking...
fucked up world country fuck that it's bullshit the political correctness bullshit needs to go bye bye we need a man like Ben Carson for president but you know what would happen if poor Mr. Carson a brilliant good man would what would happen right JFK all over Not, you know Corruptness needs to stop. And you fucking cops and shit, man. With your fucking police brutality and your uh, overly use of force, you know. And, and thinking you're fucking. You're fucking like a super power people or something that can do whatever you want and fucking breaking the fucking constitution and your oath and you're fucking violating people. And uh, doing all kinds of sick shit. And just unlawful shit. And you just think that, you know, just because you're a fucking cop, you can do and order anybody around. That's fucking bullshit, motherfuckers. And you all... <sighs> it's going to be a sad motherfucking day. When <laughs> the shit hits a fan or W-R-O-L. Y'all better soak it up now. You fucking power hungry motherfuckers. You think that fucking badge and that gun is power to fucking do anything. And you are so motherfucking wrong. There will be a time when you regret doing what you are doing. And you know, and you go home and you justify it by saying that it's your job, you know. So you're going to go violate people's rights, break the Constitution of the United States, the oath also that you swore to protect and uphold. You're going to go against that, right? Which makes you the criminal, okay? Which makes you eligible for prison time. What happened to morals and principles and character and respect and honor and integrity. What the fuck happened to that? The men of World War II are showing you. This era is a bunch of fucking I don't even want to say, you know. It's a, it's a joke, and it's ridiculous. And the political correctness is just a, a major tool being used, and then the, you know, division and racism all incited by the fucking administration and all these fucking polit or corrupt politicians and hacks. <laughs> but, you know. Anyway, guys, it's really scary if you think about it. Not trying to put fear in you because you can't. I'm not going to live in fear. I mean, it's scary. It's a scary times. There's other stuff going on as well. Ice and <laughs> there's so many things going on. It's ridiculous. And why does everything got to have all these weird things surrounding it? You know, I mean, and, and facts not adding up. I mean, and then not investigated properly. And then why is this important but not over? Not this. You know, uh, you know why are we going to have? <laughs> It's so easy to see, but people don't care because they, the shit's repeated over and over, pounding in their heads on the news everywhere they go, the TVs, their phones, and and uh, you know whatever they catch, it, that's what they remember, and then that's all they remember. And you know, I, I no, no, you don't. They were, you know, it's it's really it's brainwashing, you know, it's fucking. MK Ultra shit, you know. Mind control is through symbolism and it's repetitive bullshit going on and on and on and on. I mean, and you got the dummies out there who, you know, oh no, fuck. Anyway, guys, I'm out. I gotta go to work.
Peace.